Ladies and gents, we've got a little bit of talking to do about Shigeno Inezo's artifact set and build. And now I'm not going to go too in depth because I want to show you guys in a separate video, but I will show you what I have currently. And I think if we go to Barbara here, she's currently holding the set that I have for my Shigeno Inezo. Now, Hazo is an interesting character because I don't really know exactly what the best build is for him yet. We're going to have to do some testing. Obviously, I'm not a theory crafter, so we're going to see which is the best build for me personally. Now, I will be running the Wit Sith because, well, this is an insane weapon. And Shikano and Hazo could actually benefit from most of the stuff, obviously. The attack percentage increase, the elemental damage increase, as well as the elemental master increase. All of these would be pretty decent for him. Especially since he does swirl. Uh, I'm not going to be building for him for swirl just yet. Currently, I have him on a just burst damage build. I have animal damage bonus as well as the no bless. Now, I know this isn't the greatest set, but this is what I have and what I could muster up. Until I can get the other sets up and running, I want to try the four piece of Emblem of Severed Fate to see how strong that would be. I also want to try the four piece of the Viridescent set for a support build. And I also want to try maybe a four piece charged attack build with the Wander, the Wanderlust set? I am the Wanderer's Troop, not Wanderlust, the Wanderer's Troop set. Um, it does give elemental mastery as well as you know increased charge attack so it might be pretty good i want to try it out anyway so we have three builds to test in the upcoming future if i do have enough materials to go you know to get those set now for now what i have is this currently i am planning to get his talents to at least six in everything if not eight i hope i can get enough to eight i'm gonna have him be 80 out of 80 for now and I'm going to make a separate video having him like fully maxed 90 out of 90 and see what he does. But for now, I'm going to get him 80 out of 80. And then his weapon is going to be the Witsith. It is 90 out of 90 because I've already used this weapon before. And the artifacts, obviously, two piece, two piece, no bless, as well as Veridescent. Constellation, I don't know if I'm going to get a Constellation, yet alone see zero of him. So hopefully I do get a Constellation of him. This is currently what my stats look like. Obviously, it is currently very inflated for the crit damage and the crit rate is extremely low so my crit rate crit damage isn't looking the best currently but this is what i can muster up for now and i'm going to see what chicken and wayne hazel can do to i guess help himself in that situation because it is kind of unfortunate that i do not really have a noblesse piece with crit rate we're going to try this piece obviously crit rate with 13.2 it will give us around 124 percent okay so about the constellations i wanted to like do a little bit of a chat because the constellations aren't a must on hazo but if you get some of these constellations it is going to be a little bit of a interesting jump in how you play i guess because once you get that c1 what the C1 does is for 5 seconds, Hazo just comes onto the field. He has a normal attack speed increase. So what this means is that... And after a normal attack increase as well, he also gains 1 stack for his Heartstopper Strike. So you can pretty much get your E, you know, the 1, 2, 3, 4 charge amount of your E to like only a 2, 3, 4. Which makes it a little bit quick. I'm not sure what this exactly means. Or your Hazo because if you can use his E and then start normal attacking would that mean that you could use the Shimanawa set I wonder but then that would mean that you're sacrificing 15 energy or instead of your you know using your burst which I don't recommend really so I don't know about his C1 to that degree but the normal attack speed increase does sound fun to me and for his C2 he has a pull effect, obviously, after he does his, you know, cool kick. Much stronger when it is in C2, as well as it lasts for, a, I think, a second longer. It has crowd control capabilities, but it's not to that degree. It's it's whatever, you can deal without it. I don't think it would be that big of a difference whether having C2 or not. It is definitely something to think about. And C3, you get an increase in talent level for your hard stopper ability, which is your E skill. And then for the C, for this is where it gets a little bit interesting is c4 
when his explosion, his you know, second hit for his ultimate, you regenerate nine elemental energy back, which is really, really good. I love having elemental energy, you know, given back to the character, just like how Venti sort of does it, which is super, super nice. And every explosion in that monster kick will also regenerate an additional 1.5 energy so this will help your hazel not need that much energy recharge and if you did need energy recharge you need like 120 percent and this will cover up the rest that you need very efficient i think for what we want shikino and hazel to do c5 increasing talent for his ultimate d6 is a little bit interesting because as soon as you use c6 you have increase in crit rate e ability you have four stacks that you can use of the of the E skill, right? First stack, you get 4%, and then you keep getting more crit rate percentages until it's like around 16%. I'm not sure if that's true or not, because if it is, it's going to be really good. You don't need that much crit rate. When Hazel possesses Conviction, the Heartstopper Strike's crit damage is also increased by 32% which is massive. So does this mean he gets 16% increase in crew rate as well as 32% increase in crew damage? I feel like that's really good. I feel like, especially for a character that needs as much damage as possible, I feel like this is amazing actually. But load, because 32% increase in crew damage is not little, it's quite a lot. It's almost half the amount you can get from a weapon or from the artifacts, right? Artifacts give you 66%, which is pretty big. So I highly suggest a C6 if you want the max damage, but obviously it's C6, so you can get him over the course of the year. You don't really need to get him right now. So wait for the content creators. They're probably going to make some sort of like uh, C6 easier comparison. Imagine if I just roll, you know, just do a quick 10 roll, right? Summon uh, 10 times and then boom, I get C6. That'll be, that'll be the one. <laughs> I'll call myself the luckiest person on that day. That's for sure. And uh, I'll show you guys how that works in the end. But that is going to be our build. Let me know how you guys are going to build Shikino and Hazo Because currently that is my build. And that's how I'm going to build uh, Hazo. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.